I partnered with OmniWall on this project. This is part one of two of the new miter station build. And today we're gonna to install this Weekend Warrior XL package. Later in the video, I'll show you about all the accessories that go with this and everything they do. If you're interested in this, I'll put a link in the description. We got work to do. First things first is I have to deorganize all of this stuff. In other words, move it and the wall organization system will be mounted there. And that's what we'll be working on today. Check that out. That's uh, my, it was tagged that I run on my car on the 75th anniversary. We got the option to buy those. I was F33 for years and uh, that's the tag. It'll be going in the shop. Hey, there's my pencil. This is a special behind the scenes or the behind the miter saw look. You can see how much space is back there and also how much crud collects back there. Even a leaf blower back there. That's why I'm one of the reasons I want to put this against the wall. She's made some beautiful sawdust over the years. Wood glue, am I right? So that looks pretty different. This is where the miter station was. I'm gonna build another one here, not quite as big. I don't know why, but South Arkansas, a lot of homes have siding in the garage. Because this steps down, I have to basically create a flat wall to, to mount the Omni wall to. Now, if your garage has a flat wall or your workshop has a flat wall, you won't have to do this. But what I'm gonna do is put some two befores up there and a sheet of plywood that's the same size as where I'm gonna mount everything. I wanna paint that black because I got black wall organization. I don't want the plywood look popping through. It just, I want it aesthetically to be black all the way behind it. So that's personal preference, but that's what we're doing now. The packaging is next level. Everything is really well packed. Nice, 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 nice. So hanging these are, is actually pretty straightforward. Other wall organization, they just screw straight in the walls. These have cleats on them and they're clearly labeled with top and bottom. You're gonna put the top row on first. I guess you could put the bottom on, it doesn't really matter. And then you can put the top on. Basically the top ones have like a little inset where the panel will clip into it. Super simple. I'm just flushing it up with the top of the plywood because I already know that's level. Uh, if you were just putting these on a the wall, then you would just level them up all the way across. What's funny is that looks like a blackboard, like I'm, you know, old school. Some of you probably don't even know what a blackboard is, but that's what they used to write on when I was in school. So I've just taken a, one of these panels and just hooked it up there. The way those sit in there, they just hook in to that top panel. And I've lined it up with the edge here of the plywood. Worked out perfect all the way to the end there. I'll go back and add extra screws all the way through there just so that we have enough security. I don't want anything falling off. It's not gonna take a whole lot, I don't think, but we'll do that. The bottom is simply just a ledge for them to sit on so that it just has something to support any weight that's pushing straight down. The way they work is they just slide underneath like that until the bottom. So all you have to do is line those up and then you can either mark it, which is what I'm gonna do, is mark it and then screw them into place based on those marks. That way I know they're where they're supposed to be. Or you could just measure down and do it that way. Really easy. That's the only annoying thing about that I found about these whole things is these stickers that are on there are really sticky and I, want, I don't want that showing through. And you can see where some of them are already kind of poking through because I couldn't get all of the sticky off. I wish there was another way uh, that they could label these without these sticky white stickies. It's like a bad booger, they won't go away. You should, I think, I haven't read all the way through the instructions, but I'm pretty sure you put this on and then the top panels on all the way across. You can go from either direction these holes that are in the brackets themselves should line up with your panel. You see where the, if they're off, you're gonna to need to adjust those to line up. Once they're lined up, you're gonna use these double-sided tabs between the two panels. They're just gonna press in there and pop in place. You're only gonna need two per panel. Basically, these are just alignment aids. For the upper panel, I'm assuming I can just set it down on those tabs and it'll lock in up there too. 
like butter. On the top, you have these regular keepers, and I found they don't go in the big hole. They go in the one on the side. They really won't go in there just like this, but all you need to do is pull out the basically the little plastic nail. Then they pop right in. Then you just take and set that plastic nail in there, and with a rubber mallet, this is a very soft type mallet, just that locks that panel on there. Why would you want to lock that on there? Well, when you're picking stuff on and off, putting things on and off the wall, you don't want that panel to accidentally get bumped or kicked or knocked off. So that secures that thing in place. Bottom panel will secure exactly the same way. You take the little nail out, push the little pin in. So the Weekend Warrior XL package comes with these top shelves and as you can see they go all the way across the top and they lock in to the system and then they use these push pins so that they, they're very secure up there. There are several reasons I went with OmniWall, but this right here is the main reason. Most uh, pegboards, when you take something on and off the hook, it, it has the potential to fall out, right? OmniWall, these little plastic pieces, pop that in there. Then you can take the little keeper or the little nail, push it in there and secure it. Now that's not, That's not going anywhere. And that's the main reason I chose OmniWall right there. If you don't like it there, they send this little tool. You can just simply back that out, take that piece out, and then you can move it anywhere else and still reuse these keepers. I also installed these clamp racks from Rockler. A good friend of mine sent these to me a while back and I just never hung them up. There's several versions of these. One fits parallel clamps, one fits pipe clamps and then another fits quick clamps or F-style clamps. But this will help me get all of those clamps off of the shelf and properly stored on the wall. For my home gym area, this is two panels with two shelves, 16 inches wide. That way I can store my shoes and a couple other things up there. Then these two smaller shelves where I can store my collars, sleeves, all that good stuff here. And then of course, all the lifting equipment down here on the bottom. Most of this stuff was on the floor. So this helps, or on top of the miter stand. So this helps consolidate everything to here. OmniWall actually has several kits available in various sizes. You can actually get one that just has the power tool station and it's fairly small, about a 16 by 32 ish, comes with a few accessories, all the way up to this package, which is a weekend Warrior XL, which is a four foot by eight foot section. And then it comes with several accessories and I picked up a few, like I said before, that were extra and I'll go over those. One of the things I picked up was these magnetic lights. These are work lights and they're rechargeable. That comes with the charger. They have three levels, low, medium, and high. And again, they mount magnetically. I also picked up this magnetic pad where the chisels are. The glove dispenser, I think was extra as well up here. And a paper towel holder, I think comes with the kit. Many, many different styles of hooks. You can get medium hooks, long hooks, short hooks to hang all kinds of different things. And then there's also heavy duty hooks like you can see here hanging my router. Even this T-square hangs in a heavy duty hook. Mallets can hang in these different size hooks or even clamps like you see here. Also plier holders, screwdriver holders. OmniWall comes in various colors on both the accessories and the panels. You can mix and match those however you want. They even make black of these, but I wanted them in color so I could easily see which one was SAE, which one is metric. Store all of your extensions, your ratchets, most all sockets all the way up to inch and a quarter. I also picked up this air tool holder and it's just very simple. They just hang by the air fitting. And then you also have a shelf up there if you should need it. There's also these little small parts bins or plastic. They clip onto one of these thin strips like your tape measures do. The kit also included the power strip. I just used some double-sided tape, stuck that up there. That way I can put, hook my chargers up or anything like that or charge the lights, which is what the white cables are for. 
Another cool feature on all the shelves, you'll see a hole that's pre-drilled in the side. That's so that you can run cords or cables or anything you need to through there. And it also includes these shelves that have uh, the even the pattern on the front so you can attach hooks and things on the front, like I said before. But it's perfect size to hold glue bottles or even CA glue and activator, stuff like that. So it's just, you can pretty much store most of your shop on this if you so chose. And if you, in the shop or in your garage, you need to open a bottle of soda, then there's a bottle opener that comes with this kit. It also has a holder for your phone. You could also put a tablet up there, there's little tabs there. It has a dang cup holder. Now there's a couple of things I would change about this system if I could, and the first and foremost being on the side of these type shelves and the side of these shelves, I would love to see the same pattern on the side so that you could utilize that side space with some hooks or something. So like one of these big hooks, so the T-square, I could actually, if I had a hook, I could hook it out here and it wouldn't be here. I could just basically help conserve more space. Another thing I would like to see from OmniWall is a specific chisel holder that doesn't fit inside the screwdriver holder because those holes aren't quite big enough. I could drill those out, uh, but then we're talking paint chipping, things like that. So I'd really like to see a specific tool holder for those as well as a specific holders for squares. Maybe just some of these uh, bars like this a little shorter, and then you could basically sort your squares however you want it. Other than those two minor things, like it's a really cool system. If you can think of something else this would need, like whatever the type of accessories, please let me know, drop a comment below, and I'll forward that to OmniWall. If you've seen any of the previous videos, you may have noticed the ugly eyesore above the garage door that's been there for a long time and I wanted to fix it. So I painted some plywood white and then just attached it to the studs that were already exposed. And then I hung my flags up there. That way they could be relocated. I could still keep them and it still looks pretty cool. Although my wife says it looks like a redneck. America. Huge thank you to OmniWall for partnering with me on this video. If you'd like to check out the part two of this video series, it's gonna be right there when it's available. If it's not available yet, go watch the workbench build. You'll love either one of those videos. Click in the box, get you the big old virtual fist bump. Thanks so much for watching.